Hey guys, how's it going? And in today's video, we're doing a review of our 45 ACP revolver. So here it is in its original packaging. Give you a look at that. So you've got some space guy, it looks like some space theme kind of thing going on here. Do not shoot at any human or animal. You've got these two little guys down here appear to be policemen by the looks. At the top you've got the uh, factory that's made from by the looks, GAE Toys. For ages 6 plus, super game, let's go to play. Now look at the back, so you've got some instructions here. Pull the gun axis, open the gun magazine, that's actually called a cylinder, not a magazine. Uh, two, fill the bullets in the magazine in the cylinder, pull the trigger and turn left the magazine at the same time firing bullets. And of course there's our little business sticker there, it's pretty cool. Down the bottom you've got some specifications here, just mainly uh, warnings, not for ages, not for children under three years, please recycle, and colours and contents may vary from illustrations. Okay so that's, the, that's a look at the box, okay so we'll just open it up now. Right. Okay, so in the package you've got the revolver here and then you've got 10 rubber bullets. So you've got uh, red, blue, orange, green and yellow and then there's two of each of those colours. So a total of 10. Now let's take a look at this revolver. So uh, starting from the front, we've got a uh, made in China here, written there. Got a front iron sight and a yellow muzzle. Moving further back, you have this orange piece here. We'll get back to that in a second. The cylinder here, the rear iron sight, the hammer, the trigger, trigger guard, and the butt of the gun. As you can see, it is quite a comfortable fit. I have no problem at all um, holding that. And it is a model of a, a Bulldog revolver, I believe, which is a five cylinder revolver. I believe it was made in Britain, maybe. On the other side, up the front here, actually tells you what material it's made out of. Material ABS plastic. And that's usually a standard plastic that's used. That's the externals of the gun. Now to operate the gun, you pull this lever forward right at the same time you need to pull down on the barrel so this is called brake action that's where it comes apart like that so what I did there is finger here just pull that out and then push down with the same hand and it opens up now this part of the frame clips in here as well as this pin here inside the cylinder which locks into here So to load the cylinder, simply take five rubber bullets and you put them in like that and they stop, they friction fit into the barrel. So they just sit there like that, they don't fall through. If you push it too hard, it'll fall through the cylinder and you'll know that because it will just roll out, for example. See I pushed that too hard and it just fell out of the cylinder. Okay, so they're all loaded in. Now you notice on the cylinder there are these little gaps in here. When you close the uh, cylinder up, I guess we'll say, when you close the cylinder, you want to pull back the hammer as you do that because you don't, wanna, you don't want the hammer to make contact with one of the rubber bullets as you pull it back. So hold it back and line up with the gap. As you can see there, I think you can see, yeah, I've lined it up so it's not hitting on one of the bullets. To fire the gun, you simply pull down on the trigger slowly and the barrel cycles uh, left, so it cycles anti-clockwise and then the rubber bullet will leave the barrel. Now as you can see from those shots, it only just pushes it out the barrel, so it usually shoots 
around probably one to three feet. So it's only enough force to really exit the barrel. But there is another alternative to firing the toy gun. So once you've reloaded it, you simply line up the cylinder with the rubber bullet, pull back on the hammer, and then release. You can shoot it with quite a bit more force. The reason that shoots a lot harder than the trigger pull is because when you pull the trigger back, the hammer only cycles back about that far. Whereas when you pull it back with your finger, you can get it all the way, you can pull it all the way back. So then you've got quite a bit more force when releasing. You can dry fire the blaster. Uh, basically, just a really big cap gun that pops out uh, little rubber bullets. Now this toy gun would be really good for cosplay or uh, dress ups. Filming, it's quite nice being one-to-one -one scale and uh, you know being able to load the bullets in there like so and then empty them back out. Now this toy gun is basically the brother of the 1911. So these are both made by the same factory. That's the two there. So you've got the 1911 and then you've got the 45 revolver. So pretty neat. Both take the same ammunition so you can interchange the uh, rubber bullets. These will also be available in a two-pack, so you can get this one and this one. Now this revolver will fit in this gun holster that we have here. Um, I'll be doing a review on that soon, so keep an eye out for that review, that's going to be pretty exciting. So that just fits in there like so, and then of course you've got the strap that comes over here, and clicks into place like so. There it is. And this is a really, this is a nice small little holster. It's very simple. It's just got the front part here where you could put the, well, you'd usually put a magazine in, but in this case, you could put the rubber bullets down in there. And um, then on the side, yeah, you've got a clip here to release the strap, withdraw it. And then this is just simply where you put your belt in. So simple but effective. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this review on the 45 ACP revolver. I'll post a link to it in the description. Got it on both my eBay store and my website. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.